Hi friends, hope you all are doing safe during this pandemic. My name is Sahil and today we will be discussing about HP Elite Disk 800G2 Small Form Factor. And this is a very high end but low budget computer and that can easily be modified for gaming, video editing, virtual machines and other multitasking. So I bought this computer from one of my known wholesaler who sell these machines in a very promising condition. So also I bought this machine at around 11,000 only. The machine was still under warranty so that made me more curious as I have verified the same on the HP's website. So I have been using this machine for over a month and really surprised to see the performance. So here are a few specifications which I have got a default on this machine when I bought this. So this is a i5 6th generation that is clocked up to 3.6 GHz with Intel Turbo Boost along with 6 MB cache. This can be easily be upgraded to i7 6700 so that is i7 6th generation. It has got 4 cores and 4 threads that is easily for multitasking and various virtual machines. It has got integrated Intel HD 530 graphic can be upgraded to low profile card the graphic card so it has it is integrated with usb 3.0 and usb 2.0 there are total of 10 ports also it comes with 8 gigs of ram and it has got four memory slots so that can easily be upgraded to 64 gigs of ram that's way good also it uh, it has uh, 500 gigs of hard disk when I bought this the rest of the specification I'll drop a link for more so recently I have done a few upgrades so I bought two Corsair engines clocked at 2400 megahertz along with the old RAM which was 4 into 2 that was some kind of unknown RAM so the frequency of both the RAMs were 2400 the old one which I have got and the new one which I have got so just because of the frequency it was an easy upgrade option for me also I bought 2 gigs of GT710 GB DDR5 graphic card which was sufficient enough for this machine and along with this there is 240 gigs of Kingston SSD which is way better than the hard disk so I got this upgrade and I also bought additional 2 terabyte of western digital green hard disk I'll share the link below for every upgrades which I had you can also buy according to your needs whatever you want I'll also provide you or share the link for the low profile things but these are really sufficient enough to run on this machine so I was really happy to see the performance as it allowed me to do a lot of daily multitasking, gaming, video rendering etc. So which I would be covering up in the next video so stay tuned for that. For now I have done some traditional geek bench for the CPU and the GPU. So here are a few samples.
So guys, rest assured, I'll be sharing the gaming frames, the FPS, multitasking details in the upcoming video. Also, let me know what are the benchmarks or any other stuff you guys want me to share with you. So stay safe as this is my first ever upload. So if you like this information, please hit the like and subscribe button. Also, if you can share with your friends, that will be amazing. Thank you and goodbye.